Okay, so we have this uh, X-Band FMCW radar set up here. This one uses a uh, IF band limiting filter for uh, range gating. And so we'll go over it. At the very bottom we have the YIG oscillator. We're not using this chassis in the middle that's a divider for S-Band. Then we have the BFO right here, digital BFO. Uh, power supply, power supply, and the bottom power supply is the breakout board for the uh, the uh, digital uh, and analog input outputs for the NIDAC card. This is the IF with attenuators up there. And uh, here we have a display, lab view display in real time. And there's the front end. And and go over to the other side of the front end. Okay, so let's take a look at uh, what's going on here. It's a lot of clutter indoors right now, but you can see that we're watching at the top screen is range versus t uh, just range. The bottom is the uh, raw video product. But as we move the radar around, you can see different targets pop in and out. Point it up at the ceiling. There's how far the ceiling is. So that, uh, so we'll take this unit outside and uh, give it a test. All right, here is the uh, IF chassis for the for several of my radar systems. Uh, what we have here: main power light uh, bandwidth, which selects uh, three different crystal filters: um, po receiver power, transmitter power. Transmit power output, DC power for transmitter, DC power for receiver, and then the uh, input outputs for all the attenuators, uh, which are over here. And usually that chassis is located in this empty spot down here. Uh, right now we have a 10 megahertz, or a little over 10.7 megahertz uh, signal at minus 60 dBm injected into the chassis, and you can see uh, the output on the scope. So we'll take the cover off. All right, uh, here is the input. So we have, uh, we'll start, I guess we'll start over here. 10.7 megahertz in, coupled off here to the transmitter. The rest goes over here to the LO port of this uh, double balance mixer. The IF in from the uh, front end uh, goes to this uh, this crystal filter box here. There are three filters and a through inside this box. And then the output of this guy goes to this amplifier. The output uh, from that one goes out to one of the filters. And then the input goes, uh, in, you know, the, the output of the uh, I'm oh, sorry, the output from this guy goes to attenuator. <laughs> and then the output of that attenuator comes back in to this uh, amplifier. And then the output of this guy, this amplifier goes to this last crystal filter box. And the output of this guy goes down to the uh, mixer here. And then the output of this mixer goes to this uh, video amplifier. So that is the IF chassis. Okay, so when to, to run my uh, radar systems, I use National Instruments LabVIEW, and uh, these these radar systems were developed uh, for my dissertation and master's thesis work at Michigan State University. The primary interface between the computer and the uh, LabVIEW card, which is a PCI 6014, the primary interface is this box here. It uh, focus in. This box contains a power supply, motion control, uh, and the uh, linear FM uh, uh, chirp that is used to modulate the radar system. So let's take a look inside. Now I'll zoom out and refocus. Yeah, inside you see a uh, 
power supply, DC power supply here, linear. Uh, this this is the um, ramp generator. It's an analog ramp generator, which is triggered digitally by the uh, PCI 6014. Uh, back here is a, a motion uh, stepper motor controller for the linear rail. This is the power supply for the linear rail. Uh, you know, switch, fuse, rectifiers, what whatnot back there. This is a um, active low pass filter down here for the DAC output in case we want to use that uh, to modulate the, um, the the YIG oscillator. Back here is the breakout board from the uh, from the cable that goes to PCI 6014. And we'll take a look around back. In the rear, we have several uh, BNC connections. We have uh, you know power fuse motion control goes to the motor. This goes to the uh, DC power to the rest of the radar systems. Again, we can run five systems off of this one box. Um, these are the different ports. So we have uh, analog input uh, video from the radar systems. We have the deck filter deck output, trigger lines, the ramp output. Um, this this triggers the uh, this this fires the uh, ramp the analog ramp generator. That's the input to the analog ramp generator. Again, here's the cable from the NI box. Okay, so we're going to run uh, the X-band range gate system here. We're going to walk out there, walk back, and we'll use the 7.5 kilohertz uh, IF bandwidth filter. And my friend Alex and I will uh, be the test targets. Okay, so make sure I stop this correctly this time. There we go. All right. Sweet. So we're going to try that again. Uh, the last experiment was at, with a 7.5 kHz filter. And I have, this time it will be with a 15 kHz filter. So I'll, I'll go up there again first. You'll probably see me you know, on radar pretty quickly. Yeah. 